There are lots of studies about transfer factor extracted from blood, but there are also transfer factors extracted from the cow cholesterol, which is what we have in the supplement. Are these two transfer factors the same? The same? That's a great question, uh, and it's one as we've started to learn more and more about transfer factor and study the mechanism of action, we've actually looked at transfer factor that has been pulled out of blood or pulled out of dialyzed leukocyte extracts. This is, these are the same transfer factors that Sherwood Lawrence looked at. And we ran these in the same assays that we were running our transfer factor that's derived out of colostrum. And it turns out that we get the same sort of response in all of our assays. So we have a natural killer cell assay uh, that we measure an immune response. And when we look at Sherwood Lawrence's transfer factor, which are derived out of uh, dialyzed leukocytes, and we look at transfer factor that's derived out of cow colostrum, we see the same response. And so that really tells us that the immune response, whether it's coming from transfer factors out of blood or the immune response coming out of transfer factors out of uh, colostrum or even egg is the same. And so that gives us confidence, that gives us a surety that the same benefits that Sherwood Lawrence saw in terms of transferring immunity from one person to another is the same benefits that we get when we take transfer factor from colostrum or from egg. And transfer factors that is injected into human beings and transfer factors that are consumed orally, the results are the same? They can be. Uh, it's a different delivery uh, mechanism. And so the, the prevailing thought in terms of transfer factor that is being uh, orally consumed is that we have uh, in, our, in our gut, we, in our digestive tract, we have these things called parapatches. And parapatches are these ways for transfer factor to get brought from the stomach into the bloodstream and once they're into the bloodstream now they're acting as if transfer factors were being injected into our into our blood oh, okay. and so there's different mechanisms for transfer factors to get where they need to be and there's still a lot of work to be done in that respect because uh, obviously when you're taking peptides and proteins and you're ingesting them there's a lot of things that are going on but the prevailing thought is that these are being transmitted into the blood th bloodstream through these peri patches